In news from Jamaica, Islanders continue to express concern about the fluctuating value of the local currency. The Jamaican dollar hit a historic low on Friday against its main counterpart, the U.S. dollar. At the end of trading on Friday, it cost an average $120.03 to purchase one U.S. Trading also closed on Monday with figures remaining unchanged. The rapid depreciation of the Jamaica dollar continues to send jitters in the financial markets among consumers, manufacturers and investors. The dollar has been on a downward spiral since 2013 when the government signed an extended fund facility with the International Monetary Fund IMF. IMF chief Christine Lagarde has stressed that the Jamaican dollar has been overvalued. She also explained that the dollar had to endure further re-evaluation. Economist Dr. Andre Houghton says it was no surprise that the dollar slipped to the 120 mark. However, he predicts some stability will return to the markets now that the government's net international reserves, NIR, has improved. The further depreciation of the Jamaican currency comes almost a month after central bank governor Brian Winter declared that the currency was no longer overvalued and was therefore less susceptible to unpredictable depreciation. Every time we think about currency depreciation or, or, or revaluation, as I just said from the IMF's point of view, we have to think about the trade-off between our accumulation of reserves and, and, and how can the Bank of Jamaica intervene uh, in, in the market at times with these reserves. Now, the, the, the flow of foreign currency from Jamaica to the rest of the world and from the rest of the world, it, it, it has a particular trajectory that we have foreign currency obligations in the future, so we cannot really deplete all the reserves now to supply uh, a sterilization policy to the market. Uh, in so doing, it, it, it is really difficult for, for the government to have uh, stop the dollar from, from, from reaching 120. But I think now, given the accumulation of reserves, it will remain stable for quite some time. The accumulated reserves that we're looking at now uh, is, the, is the most we've seen for quite some time. So this will give the Bank of Jamaica room to, to, to really appease any demand that may overshoot the market. So, so in, in that case, they can keep a currency if they, they, so, they so desire. Dr. Horton says inevitably consumers could feel the impact of a plummeting dollar. We all understand that the currency has been depreciating and it is not what we want to happen, especially from a producer point of view, because each time they want to purchase uh, imported inputs, they face a higher price. And if they face a higher price, the consumer will also face a higher price when they go to purchase these finished goods that are